Hi, I'm Colonel Keith Siebel, USMC retired, and this is Herm Marin, who's our Director of Operations and Maintenance here at the museum as well. And I'd like to introduce you and show you around the museum. Follow me. pick up a little folder with an ID card in it that's going to give them a role. And this is our first real interactive aspect of the museum because when people come in here, they're actually going to be taking part in a live mission briefing that uh, they will need to go through here after the flight of their B-17. I don't want really to give it all away right now, but they're going to go through this escape room and they're going to have to meet up with the French resistance. This is the second escape room. And the idea here is now they're in a German POW camp and Again, they will have to go through certain activities to be able to escape and evade the Germans by getting out of this POW camp. This used to be the Boyertown Museum of Historic Vehicles Auto Museum before they moved it over to the main one they have right now over on Walnut Street. Before it was the Auto Museum, they actually used this as an assembly and fabrication point for making the chassis and the tubs that fit in the chassis, and before that, even some of the carriages. Uh, all the parts inside of the hangar were built with, were made by today's technology, a 3D printer. I wish I had one of those 20 years ago. <laughs> two. This is what we call the Hall of Heroes. And the idea behind this is that we're going to present people from all over this area who supported the war, whether it was a home front person, uh, Rosie Riveter type uh, making tanks, or whether it was doctors and nurses, or public health officials, and the actual people who fought in the war. And all these people that you see here through this displays right here are those who have fought in World War II from the local era. 